So I'm building an outdoor living room and it's time to update some of my old tools. I've always gone to DeWalt for everything. And then I realized, except for Sawzalls, every one of my Sawzalls, when it comes to, when it matters, has always been Milwaukee. I have them for every single guy on my crew. And I thought, well, maybe we'll give some of Milwaukee's other tools a try. So I picked up what they call this. M18 fuel and it's got something called a one key and I think this one key thing is a bunch of malarkey I think it's more of a gimmick than anything else this one key is like you hook up your smartphone to your your screw gun I call it a screw gun a cordless screwdriver and I'll tell you straight up, the guys that work on my crew, the guys that I work hand in hand with, you're not going to find any single one of us hooking our smartphones up to our power tools or drinking lattes at lunch. Plain and simple, those two things are never going to Hale's gimmick, but I decided to give it a try anyway. So, I picked it up. The first thing, I was thrown a little bit by its size. I'm used to just having a little longer gun, a little bigger gun. This is the difference in size that I was talking about. This is what I'm used to working with. I wasn't used to working with this, and what surprised me the most is when you start to look at the specs, the typical DeWalt cordless screw gun has 80 Newton meters of torque, and I had to look that up because I was going, why does there seem to, like, to be such a big difference in power in these screwdrivers? 130 Newton meters of torque. That's the difference. I had no clue about that when I was using it, but I could feel it. You can literally just feel that this thing does not stop delivering. That's why I liked it so much on this job, because it surprised me. When I picked it up and I looked at it, I wasn't expecting much. I really wasn't. I'm like, it's small, probably gonna be wonky when you hit the button. You're probably not gonna have smooth takeoff. So when you try to get on that screw, it's gonna try to jump off. And I just, I didn't have any expectations going into it. Flipping love this thing after using it. Absolutely hands down, love this. Holy crap is all I've got to say about this screw gun. The controls are so absolutely smooth and precise. It is almost like it's an extension of your hand. I have never, in all my years of using screw guns, felt anything not putting DeWalt down, I've always used DeWalt, but I've never felt anything that made the screw gun actually feel like an extension of my own hand. Absolutely phenomenal. So here's something I want to show you guys. It's got like a fuel gauge on it. It tells you how much battery life is in it. And at first I was like, oh, that's just another gimmick to try to sell a tool. Stop doing stuff like that. Put the quality actually in the drill itself and quit trying to sell me on gimmicks, right? I tried to keep an open mind about that battery indicator light, hoping that maybe it wasn't gimmicky. And actually I found myself liking it. After using it for a day, I found that I was actually starting to check to see how much battery life I had left. It is actually a pretty cool thing. This thing impressed the hell out of me. That's saying a lot for a cordless screwdriver. But I really like it. Just after building this outdoor living room and really putting this thing to the test, laying down decking materials and torquing in four inch screws and trying to get crawling on my back, trying to get in tight spaces with this thing, freaking awesome tool. Milwaukee makes great cordless screwdrivers. Hands down, on par with DeWalt, 100%. Now, what is your favorite power tools and why? I've used Hitachi, I've used a lot of these other tools. Uh, I Like I said, I'm a DeWalt man, and now I'm switching over and becoming a Milwaukee man for the other tools. What's a good tool? I need to hear from you. I <laughs> the, the controls are so smooth. It's not... Okay. <laughs> What, I don't know what you call this thing. It's cool. I liked it. It was really neat. So, overall... <laughs> Golly, this is horrible. 